Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. I got a uh, Hoe Garden Wit Dash Blanche or Blanc. I'm gonna say it's probably white. I don't know what the Blanche part means or Blanc. Um, <clears throat> original Belgian wheat beer. Got this at the liquor store the other day. It was just one sitting up on the counter um, for a dollar seventy-five. Pretty good, pretty good price. Um, let's see. It's an un let's see unfiltered, naturally cloudy. Um, a delicious and surprising, refreshing taste. Naturally cloudy and brewed using a unique recipe of wheat, malted barley, and a subtle hint of coriander and orange peel. <clears throat> um, date on here says 1510 of 16. Um, there's some... I don't know if you can see that or not. It's kind of... It's got some junk in the bottom down in there. Some yeast and other stuff floating around in there wheat beer brewed with spices <clears throat> 4.9 percent alcohol slash volume <clears throat> so um let's see rate beer gives it an overall score of 88 and a 98 in style so that's pretty good um unfiltered belgian white Flavored with coriander and orange peel, creating a sweet and sour taste. So, let's uh, let's check it out. It's kind of late at night here. It's 12.30 in the morning. We've been busy all day. Going to a nephew's graduation and all this and that. Almost bedtime. It's got a cool little set upside down. Yeah, cool cap. Wow. That smells good. Let's see. <clears throat> There we go. Um, has the appearance of an IPA. To me, it's very hazy, cloudy, I guess like they said on the bottle. Naturally cloudy. Got a finger of head, white, very bright white head. Um, very foamy looking head. Um, it just has a fruity appearance to it. Let's see. It does smell sweet. Get a little bit of orange peel on the aroma. Weedy. Maybe a little corny. Almost smells like a little bit of a... <clears throat> of an American adjunct lager a little bit of that kind of an aroma all right let's see what we got hmm Citrusy. Hmm. 
medium carbonation burn in there. Yeah, a little, little sourness in there. <clears throat> the sweet is up front, but it dies out on the back end. Has this a light, bitter, maybe a little dry. It's kind of thin. It's, a, it's kind of a watery, kind of a watery beer. <clears throat> Maybe just a little skunkiness in there. Hmm. <clears throat> you know, the flavors are up front, but man, they just... It's a little weedy. The flavors just kind of die away pretty quick. They just don't hang around. It kind of leaves you with that. <clears throat> I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's, <clears throat> it might be just, I mean, a little refreshing. I mean, like a summer day. Might be good for something like that. I don't know if I I, I... I probably wouldn't buy this again. I just don't like the... The way it kind of leaves you with a dirty water taste at the end there. It just kind of... Hmm. No. This really isn't doing anything for me that much. Um, I'm not like I said. I mean, it's like drinking a, a cold water or something I don't know all right well excuse me I'm gonna drink it but uh, just not my cup of tea not my cup of beer <laughs> um had another subscriber um Albert thank you for your subscription I appreciate it um, okay, well, I'm going to stop there. Um, if you've tried it, let me know what you think. I didn't really care for it that much, but some, some, some people might. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good up-and-coming weekend, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.